then, little buddy. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, then how come I'm shaking? I'll slap the cuffs on him the minute he kills you. What? And the minute he tries to kill you. Oh, here they come. Are you ready? Yeah. Good evening, Mr. Randolph Blake. I understand that you have been dipping into the till. Mr. Howell, I wouldn't take a dime, not even if you gave it to me. I think you're a perfectly horrible, nasty man. But honest, real honest. You deserve a sound thrashing, Mr. Blake. I shall do even more than that. <laughs> now, Skipper, now. What's he doing? He's reaching for the spear gun. You have a dime, lovey? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I haven't got a dime. Very well, then I shall use a phone in one of our cars. <laughs> <sighs> that clears the howls. Randolph Blake, I want to see you. Sorry, the store is closed. I worked seven years on that scientific paper, and you stole it. What are you so nervous about a piece of paper for? Look, I've got a whole pad of paper. I intend to see to it, sir, that you never steal anything from anyone ever again. What are you going to do? What should have been done years ago. As of tomorrow, sir, your subscription to the scientific quarterly shall be canceled. <laughs> There's the professor. I'm here, Randall. I'm sorry, Mr. Blake left an hour ago. I'm just a good friend, honest Gilligan. You. you got a funny look in your eyes. They tell me that you're getting married next week. Yeah, you'll get an invitation, honest. I could make you forget her. Kiss me. No. Kiss me, Randolph. You irresistible hunk of man. <clears throat> Please, you're wrinkling my lab coat. Well, what of it? You're Randolph. But I'm engaged. Well, in that case, there's only one thing I can do. Oh, no, no, there's lots of things you can do. Just think hard. No, Randolph. You know what they say about a woman scorned? No, what do they say about a woman scorned? You'll pay for this. I shall never date you again. <laughs> still alive. Wait a minute, Gilligan. Now, Marianne hasn't had a shot at you yet. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Blake, because of you, my father ended up in the poorhouse. Well, couldn't we send him something like cookies or chicken soup? He don't deserve to live. <gasps> Skipper, wait till she grabs the gun. It might be too late. Get up there. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Terrible. I hate you! That's the last one, and I'm still alive. And that's too bad. Too bad? Yes, we've got to start all over again. Again? Well, certainly, we've got to find out who killed Randolph Blake. Now, I'll send them back in to you one at a time. Oh, no, they only have one shot at me, and, and one's enough. The store's closed. We're out of business. Are you all right, little buddy? Who did it? Who did it? Nobody did it. The slamming of the door triggered the gun. You solved the crime, little buddy. You solved it. It was an accident. I'm good. It wasn't one of our friends that tried to kill me. I never forgiven him. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, just think another wrench and wow. Yeah, just think another wrench and. <laughs>